Hey guys, McJeffries here, and welcome back to FMTB. Now, in the last episode, we beat Brentford, came second in the league, and got automatic promotion, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, really, really proud of the players, really, really proud of the staff, everybody involved. I'm just so glad that we managed to get promoted. What we now have to do is start worrying about next season. And we've got a small problem in that our wage budget is now a little bit less than it was last season, which means um, we got less, at, at least for now, until it clocks over that we're a championship club. Um, for now, we have less of a budget than we did before. Also, because some of the players who've signed new contracts with us have asked for increased wages, um, that's made things even more difficult. And the, the uh, highlighted case for this is James Hurst. I remember him, he's our very, 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 very good right back. Kilmarnock put in a bid for him of £350,000, which is actually his value. I increased it to a million um, with a 25% sell on, a 300000 buyback fee, and a friendly. And believe it or not, they rejected it. So they obviously don't want him that much. But because they rejected it, and I forced them to reject it, Hurst's agent came in and asked me to give him a new contract. And his contract only had a year to run anyway, so I, I thought, why not? So he's now on £4,200 a week, which is very, very cheap for a championship player. But that does mean that I think it doubled his wages. So our wage budget was seriously affected by that. If I go back to this list, you can see... <coughs> excuse me, something weird in my throat then. This is a list of all the players who become free agents. That's my phone ringing in the background, if you can hear that. Sorry about that. It always rings when I'm recording. No one rings when I'm not recording. What do you know? But this is a list of all the players whose contracts expire at the end of this season. And a couple of standouts. Uh, Mark O'Brien, who looks like a good young defender, he could possibly be a replacement for Roberts. We'll see about that one. But this guy here, Ben Reeves, he is on my players to buy list for championship clubs. Just look at his well, look at his stats to start with and then look at this. He could become a good championship attacking midfielder. But if you get him nice and early... He can become a, a Premiership def uh, defender, a Premiership midfielder, I reckon. The only downside at the moment is he's on three grand a week, and I'm not going to click this button because I don't want to jeopardise being able to sign him. Um, other players, Sam Hoskins, good young striker, not very tall, so he's more of a poacher than anything. Uh, any other youngsters on this list? We've got a few goalkeepers, but I'm not really interested in goalkeepers because we've got Santangelo, Hamer, and um, Blackman. Uh, we got this guy, Kagozi Nithli, from Peterborough. Good young defender. Could perhaps afford him now. We'll have a look, shall we? I have to pay 134. Oh, wow. The greedy so-and-so. Actually, if I could afford £6,250 a week, let's first of all see if he accepts that. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go and try and sign Reeves. Holy Christ, I can actually afford him. We'll do that then. £4,100 a week. That is an absolute bargain. And that's only as a first teamer. That is... Yeah, that's a really good deal. I'm definitely going to sign him then. How about Hoskins, or is that pushing it? What's he on at Yeovil? £1,000 a week. How good can he become? Championship. Ah, I've got to pay to have him released from his contract. And I can't afford his wages anyway. But that's something that I was going to say about Hurst's new deal. Is It's a three-year deal. So he's now, his contract now expires in 2018. And that's a, a year longer than he'd normally be signed on for. So just the fact that we've won promotion, he's now willing to sign an extended contract with us. Which is really, really good. I'm really pleased with that. Um, it's a sign of progress. Who else? There's lots of good players on this list. Luke Young from Plymouth. Brian Ruiz from Fulham. Now, he'd be fantastic if we can get him in, but we're never going to be able to afford £50,000 a week, so that's not going to happen. Um, Lee Cox from Swindon, perhaps. Ryan Taylor from Newcastle. Now, he's good for free kicks. He's very good for free kicks, but again, 
we're not going to be able to afford £23,000 a week. And this is the problem with when you get into the championship, is it's sometimes better to either look abroad or look below, because you're not going to be able to afford Premier League wages, especially if you're a former League 2 club. We're never going to be able to pay the wages that uh, the likes of Cardiff, Huddersfield, Wolves, we're never going to be able to afford them. We can afford, though, to go to teams like, let's say, Bradford or MK Dons and sign some of